legendary names like Hot Bank, Bossy, Trottier, LaFontaine. It's all here. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Hurricanes get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Moves around along the half wall. Quick feed to Marcel. Into the corner of the attacking area. And the puck dies with the trapper save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. He was left in there. Jarvis moves it into the attacking end. And that's deflected. Sends it over to Pellet. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Slip feed. This crowd, the energy in here is exciting. The Islanders have to be feeling good about themselves. They have been pushing and pushing to start this one. James are emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred or channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. Puck picked up by Slavin. Takes it across the blue line. Tucked away in the offensive zone by Burns. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Moves it to the middle. Uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. The Islanders have been the dominant team here midway through the first period, and they lead it. New York's won it. Taken by Dobson. Quick pass to Paul Mary. Moves it to the middle. A stick and they can't complete the play. The Hurricanes will play the puck from behind the net. Pesci's got it in the defensive end. Nice dish from the left wing. Oh, gets a proper on that one as he just got enough of it. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Drives it to the crease. Doesn't go. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses by a landslide. James, he rushed his shot, and that's the result. Oh, and he makes the save. Just got enough to keep it out. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Islanders have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Fashing. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. that four leader zone ability, guys, which means he gives his team the momentum whenever he buries one. Gets a hold of the puck. Moves it to Lee. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The centering feed! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Back 
Battling for it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Fashing. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. D'Angelo's lugging the puck. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Lee's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Sends it down low. Moves it quickly over to Lee. And a quick save on that one. Now leadership comes in different ways and typically he scores on these opportunities and he elevates his entire team. Well, the goaltender shut the door and didn't allow it to happen. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Islanders lead this one to zip. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front! Scores! Well, that's number two, Tyler! Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. New York's built themselves a large lead and there are still more than two periods to play here. And they win that draw center. Takes the feed. Moves the puck over to Ajo. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. And that's a smart heads-up play by Terabina. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. This shot from the slot. Scores! And they do it again! There's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. New York's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Nelson's won the draw. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Opening face-off here in the second period is about set to go. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? New York's coach has to be impressed with that opening frame, James, right from puck drop. They had their legs underneath them. They were first to pucks, and they were able to manage it and control the game. They put their opponent on their heels, and they were able to execute. You can't write up a better period. The Islanders have dominated them thus far and continue to do so here in this second. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Here's a pass in front, and that's intercepted. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bunting. Quick feed to Burns, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Quick pass to Bunting. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. Poked away by Barzell. Quick feed to Thompson. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Moves it to Jarvis. New York's got possession of the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. 
The Hurricanes take possession in the defensive end. Takes a shot. And that goes off course off a body. The Islanders take it along the wing. Chase from along the wall. His reflexes on display tonight. Coaches are always saying you got to give it your all. And this goaltender, well, he's going at it with full force and his full head. This one hits his mask and he gets a jolt. And he hangs on to the puck. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Takes it across the blue line. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. And there's the whistle icing the call. Stahl's the one to lead the comeback here. He's the captain of this team with an offensive zone faceoff. No better way to create some momentum than get one on the board. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. The Islanders lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Pajot's won the broad center. Slides the puck across to Lee. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Shot! And he keeps that one out. Here in the back half of this period, New York's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. And he's ridden off the puck. And he takes the pass. Puts it in deep. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Handles the pass at center. Looks to set up at the point now. Puts it off the inside of the frame. Denies it in front. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. New York's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. The Hurricanes win it. Poked away in the defensive end. The Hurricanes have the puck now. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Nice zone entry from the middle. Now that's a true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Grant has opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The Hurricanes win the defensive zone faceoff. And it's a quick pass to Nelson. Quick shot! Oh, he got cuddled by Sorokin! Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. All alone! Off a stick and they can't connect. Battle along the boards. Great poke by Mayfield. The Hurricanes look at this, two on one! Across the line. Oh, spectacular save to shut down the rush. Here's a short pass to Mayfield. Tries to get the puck over to Horvat. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick pass across to Natchez. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Grabbed along the board by Engvall. Puck grab by Paul Mary. Nice feed from the right wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three, next. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, 
How do you view it? New York's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. The Islanders have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. New York's got the win off that draw. He says, let's get physical on that play. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's been demolition derby night. 4 nothing is where we sit. The Islanders win that offensive zone faceoff. Off the glove, but the puck skips away. And now it's grabbed by Kutkaniemi. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Angles it over to Thompson. Fires it on net. Off a stick. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Slides it diagonally to Enval. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. New York's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. And off the draw, they'll take possession. New York's moving it along the wing. Palmieri's got it along the wing. Here he is in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Throws one up to Faust. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Stahl. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Well, the goalie makes an incredible stop, but typically he just invigorates his team with his scoring and his timeliness of it. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Paul Mary. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. The Islanders pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. To the front, and that shot gets caught in traffic. Works it across to Jarvis. Gaining momentum up along the side. Quick pass to Bunting. Pass back to the point. Blocked aside. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control, it makes your life so much easier. Ajo's picking up steam. Handles the puck. New York's gained possession. The Islanders have layered well today and really protected their goaltender and seen everything. They're so close to the shutout. Yes, it's a superstition, but this team has played so well defensively. It's not just a goaltender stat, it's a team stat. Makes it look easy with the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Past the halfway mark of this period, New York's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4-0. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Holmstrom's got it in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Mayfield. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Islanders have definitely used the shoot-first mentality and look at the score here late. Carolina's taken possession in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Slavin. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Karabinen's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there and as a result, he loses it. Holmstrom's cut it against the boards. Moves it to Slavin. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Feeds it down low. Tees him up, and that's blocked from someone in front. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. 
Here's a short pass to Horvath. Picked off by Burns. In the third period. Sends a pass over. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Sorokin. been putting lots of pucks on that all night long and they continue to lead late in this third period. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. And he connects with the long bomb. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up 